UCSF is proud to be at the heart of a vibrant 303-acre Mission Bay community that represents a scientific renaissance and a revitalized neighborhood in San Francisco. Starting with the birth of biotechnology, UCSF has always been a leader in scientific discovery. That work is now flourishing at Mission Bay, where Nobel laureates are part of a growing life sciences community focused solely on improving health. When we planned Mission Bay, our hope was to create a place that would nurture world-class research at the cutting edge of biomedical science. Now, several thousand people work at UCSF Mission Bay, among them, some of the most creative scientists on the planet. There are six new research buildings, a splendid conference and recreation center, housing for students and other trainees, and soon, a major new hospital. Mission Bay is the most important single endeavor that UCSF has ever undertaken, a remarkable nexus of science, education, and patient care. It is all that we hoped and more. In the 10 years that Mission Bay has been in existence, and I came right at the outset, I've just seen this incredible explosion of the kind of possibilities that we can envisage and carry out in basic science research, interactions with industry, and that's also expanded our ability to do research collaboratively with the clinicians in all the campuses at UCSF. The kind of research that we do involves trying to understand what's happening in aging and the diseases that lead to so much ill health in humans. We're really understanding more and more of the fundamental basic science behind this, and of course that's going to be crucial for the conquest of the diseases of aging, like cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, and other infirmities that go along with the aging process. Mission B is transforming science in a very exciting way because it's making possible industry to be located in very, very close proximity to a very major academic health center. When we do have companies that come in our neighbors at Mission Bay, we actually have a networking arrangement. We have ways of talking to each other. So physical proximity is not enough. There has to be ways that we facilitate dialogue, and that's what QB3 tries to do. One of the things that makes most sense to do at Mission Bay is to actually start an incubator. Universities are very good at disruptive technologies, but those disruptive technologies to be advantageous to society, they have to move out. By definition, they don't easily move into a large company, so there are obvious people to do startups. So we actually started a mechanism to try and make it very easy, particularly for our students, to start companies at Mission Bay. We've worked very hard to encourage the entrepreneurial spirit, and we've got to think about our students. We cannot keep training students to be academics. There are not enough academic positions. We have to help identify other careers for them and train them for those other careers. And that's what we've been able to do very well down at Mission Bay, make a highly educated workforce, but also make students much more eager to come to UCSF because we do this type of training. I became mayor in 1995. One of the first things on my agenda, among the many items, was Mission Bay. Government had the land, or access to the land, although it was in the hands of the private sector. We got it 43 acres, the natural spot for the University of California to expand its reach in its campus in a very wonderful way. It was very clear it would be the forerunner to revitalizing the entire economy of the San Francisco Bay Area. It's far beyond that. It's actually the epic center of biotechnology in this whole region. It produces billions of dollars to the economy of the San Francisco Bay Area. You can actually measure 30,000 or more permanent jobs that are coming directly from what we've done at Mission Bay. You've got science, health and technology all merging at the right place at the right time. And then suddenly, incredible investments from all around the world found their way into Mission Bay. In my tenure as the mayor of San Francisco, there are many things that I'm proud of. None I am more proud of than Mission Bay because practically every year I get a chance to relive that success story, different from any of the others. 
UCSF is continuing to transform the landscape at Mission Bay. In just two short years, in February 2015, the brand new UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, the Women's Hospital, and Cancer Hospital will be open to the public, serving patients in the Bay Area and around the world. These are state-of-the-art facilities that will be a tremendous boon to the clinical care that we already provide at UCSF. But what makes these clinical facilities unique is they're directly across the street from one of the world's greatest research organizations. And it's the linkage of that research with the clinical care that has the greatest promise for changing the way healthcare is delivered and the health status of people, not only in California, but around the world. This combination of breadth and depth in health sciences research and patient care with a singular focus on health with a public benefit is truly unique at UCSF. And it places UCSF in the perfect position to lead the next revolution in healthcare, precision medicine. At UCSF, we envision a time in the near future when we can harness the power of biomedical information both at the personal and the global level to deliver precise and personalized care that redefines the practice of medicine worldwide. That is the future of health and that is the future of UCSF.